everyone and welcome to today's episode of Working with Stark. It's been a little bit since I've done my last video. It's been pretty busy here between getting our first snow of the year and it melting and work. It's just been a little crazy, but it doesn't mean I haven't been working with this guy. We've actually made quite a bit of progress. We've started lunging, which he's really catching on to, and his backing has improved tremendously. Along with the fact that I can actually lift and pick out all four feet right now. He's still a little nervous with his hinds, but that's okay and understandable. So today we're just going to kind of show you where we've where we've gotten to in regards to lunging, backing, depending on how he's feeling, I might show his feet. I already messed with his feet today, so I don't want to get too crazy about that. But, another news, let's try it. So we're going to start with our backing today. He's gotten a lot better since everyone last saw him when he was first learning. So, we're going to start with our first method, which is tap the air. You can't see me in the frame, so I'm going to pull him up this way. a lot of time 
time left with him to get him good about stuff. I get a start in this young, he's gonna be amazing. Imagine this horse by the time he's 10. By the time he's 10, this horse is gonna be so damn broke. You don't even know what to do right now. You will be able to do it all. So I'm gonna ask him. Oh, that was much better. See, you just kinda had to think about it for a second. Go the other way. desensitizing has kind of picked up a little bit along with tossing over the back, tossing around his legs, we've started this. I'm not doing a lot of high energy with it yet. We're going to build to that and not keep it close to him. There. That's good. You know, and I'll slowly build up to higher energy. I'll slowly get it closer to him, more over his body. But that all just takes time. I'm not going to ask it for it now when he's not ready. That's the biggest mistake a lot of people make when it comes to horses, in my opinion. So many people want to have their results now, and they want them quick. So now they want them quick, they want them right. The reality is, all these horses aren't ready for what people end up asking. And the horse melts down, he gets sour. We live in a day and age where everyone wants everything right now. That's exactly the opposite of what we need. Especially with the horses. Take it slow, you know. Do things when they're ready.
ready for it. Not when you think it's convenient and you want it done. Not good. I have big dreams for this little guy. Big hopes. I think he'll be able to do it. We're just going to take our time getting there. You don't need to be the fastest. You don't need to be the youngest horse in the ring. I want him to be the safest and the most ready for it. So, thank you for watching today. Hope you guys have a great day and pack two.